You will no doubt have seen, even if you have not studied, Civil Defence Handbook Number 10, entitled Advising the Householder on Protection Against Nuclear Attack. In order to illustrate the contents of this handbook more graphically, the Civil Defence Authorities have produced seven short films based on the seven sections that form the contents of the handbook. If the government decide that the time has come for this advice to be acted upon, these films will be shown to the public on all television networks. Their present purpose, however, is for your information. So we shall now show the seven films as one film. Here we go. The government has decided that in the present state of international tension, you should be told how best to protect yourselves from the dangerous effects of nuclear attack. If this tension should lead to war, it is essential that you should have taken every possible precaution to safeguard your family, yourself, and your home. This film will show what are the dangers to expect and the best means of protection. First, the basic facts. When a nuclear weapon explodes, it produces three main hazards. The first of these comes from the heat generated by the fireball. This may last as long as 20 seconds. The heat is so great that for some miles around the explosion, it could kill people who are caught in the open, and it could burn exposed skin over a much wider area. The heat also threatens your home. By striking through unprotected windows, it would start fires across the whole area. The second danger is from blast. For some miles, buildings will be destroyed or severely damaged. Further out, buildings will suffer less severe damage as the blast effect diminishes. And for many miles beyond that, there will be light damage such as broken windows. The third danger is from fallout. If the bomb explodes on or near the ground, dust is sucked up by the explosion and is made radioactive in the rising fireball. It rises high in the air and is then carried downwind, falling slowly to earth over an area which may be hundreds of miles long and tens of miles wide. Within this area, Everything in the open would become covered with a film of radioactive dust. This fallout dust gives off radiation, rather like x-rays. Radiation cannot be seen, felt, heard, or smelt. But exposure to radiation can cause sickness and death. The radiation is at its greatest intensity during the first two days. But the danger decreases rapidly as time passes. After two days, it is 100 times less harmful than at first, but even then it is still dangerous. These then are the dangers that may face all of us. Heat, blast, and fallout. In the other sections of this film, you will be shown what precautions will help to protect you from these dangers. 